Hey guys, don't turn away. This is actually ebossauce.com and we just got a really interesting knife that's not uh, our norm. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it before I pick it up and start uh, showing it off. This is a uh, Richard Rogers Horseman's knife. The blades are uh, ATS 34 stainless. Handle is beautiful mother of pearl, and it's on both sides. Uh, threaded bolsters. Uh, they're integral, and they're made of 416 steel. There's nine blades plus a tweezer. All right, now I'm going to tell you a little bit about, or I'm going to show you a little bit about what I know. <laughs> Tweezer. And it plugs in right there. Beautiful. Now this knife's both, both a little bit dangerous when everything's open and a little bit uh, uh, difficult to handle. So if I go slowly, you'll understand why. This is called a Fleam, F-L-E-A-M blade. Uh, I didn't know what that was, so I went and looked it up, and on Wikipedia, when I got to the word bloodletting, I realized I knew enough. Obviously, this beautiful blade is a saw, cuts in one direction. You can do that without worry. The other way, it's going to cut you. No, it's going to tear you. Oops, see what I mean about it being a little dangerous? Uh, that's the only strong lock uh, spring. Um, this clip point blade is pretty soft. Obviously, you got to be careful, but it's not trying to jump away. And this uh, sheep foot blade is actually the softest of them all. Uh, it doesn't try to jump at all. All right, so those are three blades on this side. This side has your corkscrew. Pretty sure, I can't figure out it, it, that it would be anything else. It, I'm pretty sure that this is a screwdriver. And before I put it away, you can see it's a flat end. It's a uh, not sharpened. I think it's a screwdriver. It would make sense. This last blade is a uh, leather punch. So it's a uh, pointy and crisp, but not sharp. I don't know how much of this you're seeing, but uh, that's what it is. It's a leather punch blade. And the final one, for some reason, uh, reading about it, it's often called a nutcracker, but I'm pretty sure it's a, uh, a hoof pick to clean, I guess, the dirt and crap out of a horse's hoof. So here you've got one, two, three blades, for lack of a better term, you know what I mean, plus the pick. There's the, uh, maybe we're a little bit bright on the mother of pearl. That's probably closest. Beautiful mother of pearl. In excellent condition. There's a little bit of color. There you see some purple and some green, but not a lot. It's really a beautiful, not quite pure, but wanting to be pure white, which I really like. It's a slip joint, nothing locks open, but it's a very complicated and very beautiful slip joint. Some file work on the bolster.
liners between each blade On the positive side, that uh, prevents the blades from rubbing together and scratching each other. Same on the back side. I'm not so smart that I figured out yet why that liner is taller than that liner. I know it's obvious, I'm sure there's a reason, and I just am not familiar enough with uh, a horseman's knife to help understand. It doesn't come into contact, does it? Maybe we just figured it out. Yeah, that's what it is. It's to keep uh, the pick, the hoof pick, where it wants to be to keep it from going too far. That's what it looks like to me. All right, there's some uh, dust on the knife, but the knife looks to be in virtually mint condition. It's really a beauty, and it's not an easy knife to make. There aren't too many makers who can, and, and Richard Rogers is certainly one of the knife makers, craftsmen, uh, who's capable of something this complicated. All right, thanks for watching.